If you don't know who British actor Oliver Jackson Cohen is at this point, you probably just haven't put a face to the name. He had been a steadily working actor, mostly in his native England. He is famously known for playing roles in The Haunting of Hill House, The Haunting of Bly Manor, and The Invisible Man. Let's take a look at six facts about Oliver Jackson Cohen. He is bilingual. Born on October 24, 1986, Oliver Jackson Cohen can speak both French and English. This is due to the fact he attended Lycée Français Charles de Gaulle's in London. He wanted to be an actor because of Home Alone 2. Jackson Cohen was passionate about acting from a young age. It all began with a dream of snagging the lead role from Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone 2. He told Wonderland magazine, I got into acting when I was a kid, about six or seven, and it's because I watched Home Alone, and my dad told me that they were doing a sequel, and I genuinely thought that I could be the kid in the sequel, so that's actually what started it. It wasn't a love of film or anything, I just wanted to be in Home Alone. He started attending various auditions and attended Youngblood Theatre Company during his weekends. He landed his first TV role in 2007 on the miniseries The Time of Your Life and in 2008 on UK's Lark Rise to Candleford. Drew Barrymore helped save his first movie role. Jackson Cohen's first feature film role was opposite Drew Barrymore in the 2010 romantic comedy Going the Distance. Scoring a role in your very first feature film opposite Drew Barrymore is quite the opportunity, but it's actually one that Jackson Cohen might have lost had it not been for Barrymore herself. The actor said that Barrymore helped him get his US visa. He told Collider, I didn't have a visa, and so Warner Brothers had to get me this visa and I got denied because I'd only done one job in the UK before. And so Drew wrote a letter. I'd never met her, but she wrote a letter to the immigration visa people. So I felt like I already owed this person my life. There was a whole point where it's like, well, you're not gonna be able to do the movie, because if you can't get the visa in time, we can't keep on pushing the dates, and so there was a moment where it was like, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to let this go. Thankfully, things worked out, and Oliver Jackson Cohen has Drew Barrymore to thank. She's really quite special. She just exudes kindness. He was originally cast for a different role for Bly Manor. The Haunting of Bly Manor was almost very different. After his heartbreaking portrayal of Luke Crane in The Haunting of Hill House, Jackson Cohen signed on for the series' next season, without really knowing what his role would be. It turns out, he was originally intended to play Victoria Pedretti's character's love interest. Speaking to Entertainment Weekly about Bly Manor, he revealed that he was written as the gardener in one of the original drafts of the script. However, the role was adapted into Jamie, played by Amelia Eve. He explained, it was an iteration where Victoria and I were going to play lovers. And then I think Netflix was like, no, that's a bit weird seeing as you played twins. As much as we'd love to see Jackson Cohen and Pedretti have an on-screen romance, this makes complete sense. Also, if the script hadn't been edited we wouldn't have got our iconic queer Donnie Jamie love story. Not to mention, we wouldn't have gotten the chance to see Jackson Cohen flex his villain chops as the dastardly Peter Quinn. The haunting of Hill House really messed up his head. It can take some serious emotional preparation for some people to make it through a horror movie. Whether they're superstitious, afraid of blood, or just easily scared, some viewers are just more susceptible to spooks. As it turns out, actors are too. During the filming of Netflix's The Haunting of Hill House, actors Oliver Jackson Cohen and Elizabeth Reacer confessed to Metro that they found themselves emotionally affected by all the dark subject matter that they had to work through on set. Jackson Cohen even began seeing ghosts of his own, saying, obviously you know, because we're actors, we've got stupid imaginations. In prep, I started to think that someone was sad at the end of my bed in the night, and stupid shit like that. He likes to play the bad guy. After seeing Jackson Cohen as a villainous stalker in The Invisible Man, a manipulative ghost in The Haunting of Bly Manor, and a menace in The Lost Daughter, it's easy to buy into the intrigue. The actor seems to be making a career out of playing bad guys. In an interview with Thrillist, Jackson Cohen made clear why he has gravitated toward mysterious roles, including in the forthcoming Amazon series Wilderness, a twisted love story about revenge. Early in his career, when he starred in the would-be action blockbuster Faster opposite Dwayne Johnson, he felt out of place, realizing he craved more nuance. 
That led to parts in the Australian miniseries The Secret River, BBC's Man in an Orange Shirt, and Netflix's aforementioned haunting anthology. This idea of masculinity and the way that men are portrayed this sounds so cliché, but I'm quite sensitive. I feel quite vulnerable a lot of the time. He wants his work to reflect that, even when the bad guys think they're immune to vulnerability.